Welcome to another investment video and in this video what we're going to do is take a deep dive into Brookfield Corporation. It is a highly complex company and I want to break down this company and see if we can get a fair valuation for Brookfield and see if we can project their share price into the future to see whether or not we think that Brookfield is a good buy right now. Now because Brookfield is quite a different beast than all the other enterprises that we looked at previously, I'm going to take a different approach to this. I'm not going to use my standard financial evaluation spreadsheet because I simply don't think it covers Brookfield in any way, shape or form. So to give some context here, Brookfield is a Canadian multinational company which is one of the world's largest alternative investment management companies with over 750 billion of assets under management. Now at the moment that I say alternative assets you might be a little bit skeptical you might be thinking about for example alternative medicine like they're selling homeopathy instead of actual medication but that's simply not the truth. And I think that alternative assets sounds a bit weird because it basically means that their assets are different from the assets that usually get invested in. Usually you see either bonds or stocks being the assets of choice and only about 6% of all capital in the world is in alternative assets. And alternative assets, what it means, is basically the most physical form of assets you can think of. We're talking about toll roads, we're talking about pipelines, we're talking about ports, we're talking about cell towers, we're talking about as you can see on, on the background image here, we're talking about wind farms, solar farms, we're talking about hydroelectric farms, we're talking about all the infrastructure that we use on a day-to-day -day basis to keep on running our lives. And Brookfield is very much invested into those kind of assets, high quality cash generating assets that we simply need to keep on running the world. And Brookfield is one of the biggest players in this industry. So what exactly does Brookfield Corporation hold? Well, Brookfield Corporation is like the ETF of everything Brookfield because Brookfield has many, many subsidiaries. I listed some of the subsidiaries down below here. We're talking BEP, which is their, which is their renewable energy fund. We're talking about solar farms. We're talking about wind farms. We're talking about hydroelectric. We're talking about battery storage. We're talking about decarbonization. They are one of the largest green energy transition providers, and they will continue to be so in the coming future as well, with many different projects still in the pipeline. They also own BIP, which is Brookfield Infrastructure. And this is when I talked about the cell towers or the ports or the toll roads. Everything infrastructure related is involved into BIP. Then we also have BAM or Brookfield Asset Management, which is their asset management company. They basically collect a fee from operating all of their assets. Then we also have BBU, which is their private equity fund. We also have BPG, which is their real estate fund, which they recently privatized because they felt that the price for BPG was way below the market price. So they decided to buy back all the shares and privatize BPG back into the corporation of Brookfield itself. Then they also have BAMR which is their insurance branch. It's a relatively new part of their company. And they also have some additional assets like Oak Tree Insurance, corporate assets and many investments. So basically Brookfield is doing quite a lot all over the world and I haven't only scratched the surface of what they are doing. They own the Atlantis Hotel in the Bahamas. Brookfield Infrastructure is financing half of Intel's foundry. They are doing so many things that I can't even cover them and I think if you're very interested in that you may want to look into each of their subsidiaries to figure out what exactly it is that all of their segments are doing. So how exactly are we going to value a business as big as Brookfield Corporation? Well, the method I'll be using is to take the sum of all its parts and try to value each one individually. And this analysis has also been done by Stephen Frampton who wrote an amazing article on Seeking Alpha, basically highlighting exactly what it is we're doing here today. So I want to give a big shout out to him and I'll post the link of his article in the description down below. So what we're going to do is have a look at all the individual parts that make up Brookfield Corporation. So all of the numbers here are given to you in billions. And basically what we can take away from this is that Brookfield Corporation owns about 9.8 billion worth of assets in Brookfield in, in BEP, Brookfield Renewable Section in 2022. 7.5 billion in infrastructure, 
2.8 in private equity, 21 in the real estate, 40 billion in asset management, 4 billion in insurance, 9.5 in oak tree, as well as other things like interest, and then of course some corporate supplementals. And if we take all these assets and we tally them up, we get 97.7 billion worth of assets in 2022 and 91.63 billion here in 2021. If you want to have a closer look into these numbers, I again highly suggest that you look in the article of Stephen. So, so this then brings the total assets of 2021 at 91 billion and in 2022 they had 97 billion worth of assets under the Brookfield Corporation umbrella. Of course they also have some liabilities like some outstanding debts and other things which we have to subtract from their assets and it gives me a rough Brookfield Corporation value of 77 billion here in 2021 and 79 billion here in 2022. We have to divide this by the amount of shares outstanding which is about one and a half billion which leaves me with a fair value for Brookfield Corporation of $50.65 here in 2022. Currently on the market I can buy as many shares as I want for $30 a pop. So what exactly can we expect from this? Well, given the fair value and given a 12% growth estimate, and I do have to say historically, the growth of Brookfield Corporation and all of Brookfield subsidiaries has been well beyond 10%. Historically, they've been well beyond 17%. I think it's between 17 and 19% um, compounding annual growth rates year over year. So all the numbers that I've given here are relatively conservative, but I want to show you that even with the conservative estimates that I've given you here, I think Brookfield Corporation has been hammered down drastically for the past few months, and I think it's an amazing buy for your portfolio right now. So given with the fair value of $50.65, if we increase this number by 12%, until 2032, we get a share price 10 years from now of $157.30. If we look at the return with the fair value of $50.65, this is a compounding annual growth rate of about 11.5%, so in line with market expectations. But the moment that we look at the current price of $30, we see that the compounding annual growth rate is already 18%, with a very conservative estimate given Brookfield's high performing historical historic numbers. If we take 15% annual growth, we get a share price 10 years from now of $205, which gives us a return of 20.5% with the current price of $30. And if they are in line with their historic performance of 17%, they have a share price estimation of $243 10 years from now, which gives us an compounding annual growth rate of 22%. And this does not include any share buyback. This does not include any additional tailwinds that they might be experiencing. Because like Bruce Flatt, which is the CEO of uh, Brookfield has mentioned, inflation is not necessarily a bad thing for Brookfield because they have a lot of real assets. And the moment that materials increase in price, of course the assets that they already have, which are also built from those materials, are also appreciating in value simply because of inflation. Additionally, they are investing heavily, heavily into renewable energy and the green transition and decarbonization, which is a very big trend in the future. And I think they can certainly expect some tailwinds, which they have been experiencing for the past few years as well, when it comes to their growth. So I think Brookfield is very well positioned for the future. Their historic track record is tremendous. And I think currently with the price of $30 a share, which is beaten down drastically for the past few months, way underperforming the S&P 500, I think Brookfield is a very attractive buy for anyone's portfolio. Now a disclaimer here, I recently bought stocks of Brookfield Corporation for $29, so I might be a little bit biased when it comes to their valuation, but I am highly convinced that Brookfield is a good asset to hold in any diversified portfolio. So this was a bit of a different video because of course I had to use a different method of evaluating Brookfield because it is such a complicated company. Now given the complexity of Brookfield, I do want to say that it's very possible that I missed some aspects of Brookfield in my valuation that may be very important uh, to take into consideration. I've done the best that I could with my evaluation here and I hope that you find it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!